Hello guys, it's Brad. Welcome to the channel and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, uh, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising weekly tarot reading for March 4th to March 10th, uh, 2019. And uh, as I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I have to tell you once again that this is going to be just a, a general reading for Aquarius a star sign. And for that reason, the reading is going to resonate in a different way and uh, as well, you know, in a different level with uh, every single different Aquarius. So uh, for that reason, in this video, I will try my best here to explain you uh, the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread. But ultimately, you will have to align this general reading with your personal situation to make it a little bit more personal. Now, if you want uh, me to answer to your personal question, to analyze your personal situation and to give you prediction for the future according to your personal situation, now that is a, a subject of a, a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So on the front page that is. So uh, that being said, going to the Aquarius, the first card for them, which marks the topic of their week, that is going to be the judgment. Wow. So that is going to be a big week for Aquarius. The second card, which is the negative aspect or rather like the negative approach toward the judgment, toward the situation, that is going to be the page of wands, followed by the... Um, Third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation that is going to be the Six of Pentacles. And the last one, which is the final outcome of growth. Well, look at that. We do have the Devil. So the final outcome of growth, that is going to be the Devil card. So once again, we have the Judgment first, then followed by the uh, Page of Wands. After that, it is the Six of Pentacles. And the last one that we do have, this is going to be the Devil card. So... Um, a very broad reading, to be honest. Uh, it, it could relate literally to everything because the judgment, it's, uh, it's like the wake-up call. It basically, what, what it says for you guys is that uh, somewhere in your life, in some of the fields of your life, either relationship, career, or maybe both, that is, uh, things are going to sort themselves out. I, I mean that uh, pieces of the puzzles are, gonna be, are going to fall together. Uh, judgment is very potent for unions, for reunions as well, reconciliation and so on and so forth. However, there should be a, um, a new resolutions to the matter. What I mean is that should that involve uh, reconciliation, let's say, in your relationship, that reconciliation should be created because, or rather like the circumstances around the reconciliation reconciliation uh, should rely on a, a new goal or a new agenda. Giving you straight away an example because the judgment is all is also could relate to pregnancy. So you recently broke up with your girlfriend and in a couple of weeks ago and now you realize or kind of like the information comes to you that your girlfriend is pregnant. So there you go. The new prerequisite, the new thing that it does um, gives you the option to reconcile, to reunite, or you name it. But the, in the grand scheme of things, guys, the judgment point that now you're going to fall into your place. You, you're basically going to find your path. A very potent card for those who are struggling and wobbling, in, and not struggling, but wobbling in the sense of that they do have some options available in front of them, but none of those options is really working out for them. The judgment is that a, a, a something different, a third option kind of like is going to come up, which this time around, it will have nothing to do with the current options, but it will be the resolution re you require. Take it of like you are on a fork, on a crossroads, you don't know which path to take because neither of the paths look very appealing and suddenly you see that pathway which was barely visible, you know, but it is the pathway you know that is going to lead you to the resolution, to the culmination of your, uh, of your situation. So things here are going to take a turn for you, no doubt about it, uh, Aquarius says. It's just in what field I can't predict is going to be diff different for every single one of you. But my point here is that, guys, that usually the judgment uh, manifests itself where things are really hitting the rock bottom. 
uh, it's, for example, if your relationship is on the rock, uh, new circumstances are going to give you the chance to reconcile. If your career is on the rock, new circumstances are going to give you a chance to recuperate and so on and so forth. Even if that recuperation may mean a, a new type of career or reconciliation may mean that you're going to reconcile because a new circumstances, it's not going to be because of old circumstances. Nonetheless, as we move with the reading, you're going to see that also the old issue should not be left unaddressed. But the accompanied card here, that is going to be the, uh, excuse me, the Four of Swords. So what we do have are active, neutral, active, um, active friends in this reading. And uh, basically this new resolution that you're, gonna, that you're going to find out or the uh, stabilization of the situation or how can I name it really, the, um, the assembly of the puzzle is gonna give you or is gonna grant you a time to rest. Basically the current uh, worries and the current problems that you are experiencing according to this uh, to this situation that is are going to lose completely re complete relevance of course this is just a temporary state which means that they're going to come back probably in the next week but you will have a time to readopt your strategy you will have time to consult yourself with professionalists for example if we're talking about business wise or with a couples consultants well it's just sometimes the um, the four of swords kind of asks you to uh, meditate deliberate and if you need to uh, seek the uh, the the help of a professionalist. The point is that should you be analytic and uh, should you take advantage of these new circumstances, literally you can resolve all of your issues that are lingering right now regarding this field where the judgment is manifesting itself. So the second card here, which is the negative approach toward the situation, page of wands, immaturity, not taking the things serious, basically thinking that, well, whatever, I mean, I mean, it's kind of like my girlfriend is pregnant, so big deal, let her deal with that on her own. So kind of like not taking responsibilities for your future actions. Also, as the page is very immature, um, making irrational decisions or kind of like making stupid actions you will know that they are stupid but could be like that you are stubborn and you don't want to admit that you have to readopt your strategy here and nonetheless do them even though as i said you know that you're stupid is something that you should not incorporate into this uh, into this week now you need to know that uh with the appearance of the page Maybe you're showing strong presence that you are unaffected by the situation and that you don't give a shit about it. But let's not confuse ourselves, guys. Let's not kind of like um, lie to ourselves. This card points that you are within yourself. You are very attached and you are fragile regarding it. And you got to admit it. You know, if, if you want to reconcile it with someone, my point here is that if you want to reconcile it with someone, say that you miss them, you know, say that you're sorry if you have to say something, okay? Take a responsibility for what happened and so on and so forth. So uh, with the page here also, you should not be um, open for closure, not yet as the page is open for something new to come around. That should not be a standpoint that you should adopt. So there is still hope that you can reconcile, you can get back on track with your career, you can become lucrative with what you're doing and so on and so forth. The additional card here that is going to be the uh, Knight of Cups, which falls as a an active enemy meaning of that now is the time to roll your sleeves up and do something about it because the night results that the night yields are not because of chance but because of hard work and as it comes as an enemy to the page this is what can negate the page all right and what can negate the page is your efforts your attempts your initiation okay your work your toils so you want to reconcile with someone pick up the damn phone and call them, text them, do something about it. That is the point. Waiting it out, it's only going to deprive you to basically build up your puzzle, to fit your puzzle, to uh, take advantage of this wake-up call, of this resolution uh, of yours. 
Uh, not to mention that you need to approach the uh, situation with great amounts of emotion of the uh, attachment, excuse me, once again. So if you are fragile from within, you need to display it, that you do give a damn, that you do care, and so on and so forth. And uh, what was I about to say? Yeah, you need to admit to yourself what is it you want. Because uh, these cards, not for everybody, all right, but just for some of you, these cards are pointing that you are lying to yourself what you want. For example, you broke up with your girlfriend, all right, or with your bo boyfriend, and you're trying to lie to yourself that you don't want them anymore, while within you, you're just burning out, and you want to scream and, and, and make everybody to hear about how much you love them. Well, if that's your case, pick up the damn phone, just like I told you, and do something about it. So that leads us to the next card, which is the positive approach toward the situation that is going to be the Six of Pentacles. First things first, this opening, it is only yours to take. Asking for help is not going to really help you. The Six of Pentacles, I want to display uh, in kind of like a explain you the card so we do have a rich person here who is uh, giving charity to the beggars does that charity is going to traverse the situation of the beggar no maybe that will allow them to buy a hot meal this evening maybe i find a place to stay but tomorrow they are going to be beggars once again so the help is not going to resolve your issue it may postpone the issue it may postpone the resolution here or kind of like addressing the root of the matter but it's not going to resolve it a, a determinate very um consecutive actions are required as well as addressing the issues from the past just like i said here just because the new circumstances are going to be are going to make the old issues irrelevant for the time being that is it doesn't mean that you should not address them because just like i said with the four of swords you are going to be granted the time to rest and think and readopt your current strategy about the issues from the past. For example, why you broke up with your girlfriend or with your boyfriend, why you lost your job and so on and so forth. But this week you need to use it as thinking and making your strategy. But as, the, as soon as the week is done, you have to address those issues with new strength, with new means that you do, with the new means that you do have and basically go with the current and the current and the current flow is it kind of like drives you in the right path that you need to walk over. One more thing I want to say about the um, Six of Pentacles is that the hierarchy is going to be brought to bear, which means that if you recognize that someone stands above you, you should not challenge them in any way. So your boss, you should not challenge your boss. You should not challenge um, the the, the parents of your boyfriend or a girlfriend, you should not challenge the fact that, for example, your girlfriend is pregnant, all right? So just take responsibility. It is what it means that the hierarchy is going to be brought to bear, which means from another standpoint that your place at your job is going to be secured as well. Your relationship is going to be secured and so on and so forth. What we talk about here with the judgment is a, a chance for you to repair something and not that you're going to lose something in this week. So kind of like reviving a thing and not losing it. The additional card that is going to be the, uh, wow, that is going to be the justice. We have passive enemies here and uh, what, I, what we have to be very careful with these energies because, uh, and even with the devil card, which is the next one, I would have said that on the devil, but now we do have a confirmation here. It does point that you can have the things the way you want in the sense of that you can do what you want to do the way you want to do it, but you have to be very careful and very accountable toward the situation because at the end you are going to reap the fruits of your labor. So even though you know, you can address those issues, you can truly strafe down the, 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 the flow of events or rather like move with the current. It will be very easy to uh, drunk yourself with the power you are to possess, obviously, with this new means you're going to have to uh, re rearrange things. And that is the last thing you want to do. You should not rearrange things, guys. You should kind of take a responsibility 
Rearranging the things usually mean that one is trying to avoid something. And this is what you don't want to do. You want to face everything that comes in your way because now you have the means to face it. And uh, that means as well that you can correct injustice. A very big thing. As a matter of fact, if you are having a lawsuit and uh, what you have been sued for is unjust, well, throughout this week, justice is going to be served. That could, especially with the judgment, that could be new proofs or new circumstances surrounding the, 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 the lawsuit here, which are going to give you the upper hand and so on and so forth. But you have to be mature about it. You need to be initiative about it. You should not give up and kind of like grasp on them and uh, give expression to them to the suit and so on and so forth. I don't know how to explain it, but that could be a week of your salvation. This is what I'm trying to say here. It could be a week where you traverse a failure into success. Well, it's going to be such a week. Uh, it's just I don't know how big that success is going to be. It will depend on the failure. If it is a big failure traversing, uh, tra uh, if it is a big failure of traversion, it's going to be a big success. If it is a small thing, then it's going to be a small success. But once again, it's going to differentiate for every single um, <clears throat> one of you and the last card that we do have for you Aquarius is this is the final outcome of growth here the devil so that is the power you require the devil is about the fortunate circumstances or the fortunate events happening which are giving you the the opportunity to call the shots to build up the things you want and to chase the yearnings of your soul so basically at the end of the week you will you are gonna have your soul fed up and completely satisfied, right? <clears throat> For example, that could be the mark of reconciliation of your relationship, your new job, the one that you want in, that is. Because the devil does represent really one fulfilling wishes of their own primal wishes, kind of like hunger. So you're hungry for power. There you go. You have your power. You're hungry for money. There you go. You have your money here based on the uh, new circumstances which are to arise at the very beginning of the week. But should you only, if you are, um, like I said, initiative enough and take the matters seriously. Uh, you want to get back with your boyfriend. There you go. You got back with your boyfriend. But with the devil card, you have to be very aware what you want because you are going to get what you want. And I do hope that you know that this is going to be a thing for you. Because sometimes, guys, we get what we want just so we can find out that this is not what we have wanted or this is not what we have expected. But uh, either way, it's going to be a thing of growth. The very least is going to teach you a valuable lesson not to be unyielding about a certain wishes of, uh, of yours. The accompanied card with the devil that is going to be the three of cups and i think is that with this shade that we do have here passive supporters uh passive friends excuse me uh that will be a thing that it's worth celebrating not because we do have the three of cups because everybody is gonna acc accolade you for uh probably this will create kind of like generous or, or um a honorable admiration and jealousy, honorable jealousy in the sense that people will be happy for you, but they will also want to be uh, at your place. They will want to take you as an example and so on and so forth. But the thing with these cards is that people will not see what is within you, all right? Because they, they will see only the positive side of the matter, you know, that you have prevailed, that you got what you wanted and so on and so forth. They don't see what you had to go through, all right? So that's why with the... Uh, with the devil card, sometimes um, <clears throat> we do, um, how can I place it? We do have that regret that we could had it better way, okay? Or we could done it in a better way. But this is something you got to live, uh, live with, uh, Aquarius. Is. And my point here that at the end of the week, guys, is that you're going to get what you have worked for. And I hope that uh, once again, you know what you want and what you are to work for. So uh, long story short here, Aquarius says you wanted a chance to make the things right. You got that chance in the week, March 4th to March 10th, 2019. Take advantage of it, guys. By the way, this chance is going to come probably surprisingly to you. 
And uh, just to give you one quick example of it, let's say that you truly yearn for that place into your career, that promotion, but the place is not available right now. And Monday, the person who occupies that place seriously fucks up and they get fired. So now the place is open. There you go. This is your judgment card. Take it responsible. I mean, take it seriously. Start working toward it. Do not ask for help because help cannot really kind of resolve your issues. You are the one who needs to compete for it. And at the end of the week, you're going to find yourself one step further toward that place. This is just an example here. But yeah, I mean, your uh, your opportunity or rather like your time has come here in this week and I do hope that you're gonna make the appropriate measures to grasp on it and to end up successful at the end. So that being said Aquarius, this was your weekly tarot reading for March 4th to March 10th 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and once again this was a general reading for Aquarius star sign meaning that this reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Aquarius. Now if you want more personal touch meaning uh, myself to analyze your situation, give prediction to it or answer to your question, personal questions through tarot, then that is a subject of a personal reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of the video. And on the front page of it, you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you around. Bye.